what's up my people bless up welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel so people the first thing i'm gonna share with you guys i'm gonna share an update on the kidnapping we go on in a spanish town seeing i'm gonna share what happened what caused the kidnapping for go on seeing uh, how the police them swoop down upon the person them involved in the kidnapping and hold on upon them right uh, how the man get shot a tip from the person who was to pay a two hundred thousand dollars ransom for a kidnapped man led the police to thwart, led the police to thwarting the scheme and killing one suspect the 22 year old victim was rescued by the St. Catherine Nard police during a late night sting in Tarmedos, Spanish town, St. Catherine, on Thursday. According to the press release from Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit on Friday, two individuals were also arrested, a firearm was seized during the sting. Relaying the series of events that led to the showdown, a police source told our news team that the victim went into a pharmacy as a customer. However, he was accused of stealing something by the security guard and pharmacy personnel, an accusation he denied. The police source said the individual searched him but did not find anything on him. Apparently, not satisfied, they proceed to beat him, then call their quote unquote badman friends to take over the situation so apparently they call them now to make this man maybe pay money the source told our news team the men came and took away the victim they also beat him and demand the funds when he communicated with the person who was to pay the two hundred thousand dollars on his behalf the person communicated with us that are the police right the source said noting that the police end up listening in on the conversation in which the kidnappers again demand the money and where it was to be taken he said because the kidnappers did not know who would have handed over the ransom a few cops in disguise traveled in a car to the drop-off spot and all expect for the driver hid themselves inside the vehicle when the men came for the ransom we jumped out and grabbed them one of the men who was near a shop opened fire and then hell broke loose he said the official police release said that during the sting the cops encounter armed resistance in the ensuing engagement one of the suspects was fatally shot he has not yet been identified a revolver containing five rounds was seized at the scene the release said in the release area commander of police for area 5 assistant commissioner of police mr griffiths commended the swift action of the saint catherine Nard police saying the team prevented a potential tragedy and demonstrated the force commitment to public safety and its relentless efforts in combating crime the police also urge anyone with additional information to come forward to assist in the ongoing investigation people can call crime stop them can call the nearest police station and emergency 119. The police say the independent commissioner of investigation has been informed of the incident. So people, any shooting go on. You know what I mean? With the police them involved in a, in the come, them are going to come investigate. You see me? So, boy, my people, such a simple thing turn out so deadly, man. This man going to a pharmacy, them say, and him them accuse him say boy him take up something so if the person take up something you know must find a penny for him when you search him that me i wonder so why it come to all of this then beat the man i'll do them to find whatever them accuse him say boy him take up them not find it you know and them beat him seen and cut boy i mean i tell her general so people let me know what you're thinking at the comment section. So a taxi driver where the police them did shoot up in a him get one shot in a new Kingston seeing them charge him. You see me? And guess what them charge him for my people? Attempted murder. And I'm carried to him use and lick the police, you know. So this is what them say happen. 
a taxi driver who allegedly hit a policeman with a motor car on Knoxford Boulevard in Kingston on November 9 has been charged with attempted murder. He is Peter Johnson of Greater Portmore, St. Catherine. The police say about noon, Johnson was being prosecuted for several traffic offenses when he drove a Toyota Pro Box in the direction of a policeman who was hit by the passenger door of the vehicle. The corporate communication unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force says the policeman fired a run at Johnson in defense and Johnson was hit in the foot. He was taken to the hospital where he was treated and released. Johnson was subsequently arrested and charged with attempted murder. He is scheduled to appear before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on February 2024. So, why? I don't know how them charge him for attempted murder because at the car door, lick the police. And some of them police here, you know, people, them target the taxi driver, them, you know. You see me, I say, them target them. If you full up then ticket book, the simplest thing, them ticket the driver them. So some of the driver them grow frustrated and do some things more while. Yo, police stop me already, you know, people. And him show me the ticket book, you know. You see me? And everything good with my vehicle when I drive, you know. And the police say, you know, say if I want to find something for ticket, yo, I can find you in know, that book, yeah, tonight for ticket, yo. You see me? I say, so at that them do them go the extreme more while for ticket enough for them taxi driver yeah and you don't know say enough of them a drive car for people so them can't afford for a take how much how much ticket for go pay a ticket and for find boss money and all them things there taxi worker rough work still in you know, the people but just let me know what you guys think in the comment section so we are going to move on over to saint elizabeth my people because the police them list couple man as person of interest. You see me I say the Saint Elizabeth police are seeking three persons they have listed as person of interest in their division. The persons are being asked to report to the Black River Criminal Investigation Branch by noon on Saturday. So the first one him named Romar Knight, otherwise called Maro. And the next one named Davy and Brown, otherwise called Boom, seen, who is a person of interest in the murder of Lennox Leishman on December 8. A man known only as Not Nice, who frequents area of speculation Brampton, Spring Park and Spanish Town. Detectives say these individuals may be able to assist them with ongoing investigations in the division. Additionally, Anyone with information that can assist in locating these individuals is being asked to contact the Black River CIB or, you know, Crime Stop 311, JCF Tip Line 811, or, I don't know, the nearest police station or police emergency number 119. So, people, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Also, click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. Like and subscribe, my people. Again, I'm blessed up on yourself. Thanks for watching.